What's up, sub everybody? It's Jenny. I am back with a haul, a crazy sequence haul, and this is courtesy of all of you out there in YouTube land who have been buying from this store called Cartwright, uh, cartwright.com or something like that, and they specialize in sequins and beads, and they have excellent prices, and um, they had so many that I wanted that I went a little crazy. And I just got my order and they ship super fast and the shipping is not that expensive considering how much stuff, you know, they'll, they'll add in for that amount. So, um, you might want to go check it out. I, I already packaged all of my sequins, but I do have some duplicates that I didn't realize that I ordered. So, um, this is kind of like what the packaging will look like when you get it. So it has the name, it has the size, it has the style, like the, the type, and then the color. Um, but I don't like the bags because, you know, obviously when you open it, it's going to just spill all over. So I had to transfer them over to these um, Ziploc bags. Um, I just picked up a whole bunch from Walmart and I got two sizes just in case it didn't fit in the small size. Um, so I got, look how much, um, like, duplicates. I didn't realize, again, that I had ordered this many but oh well and I'll I'll, sh I'll explain to you all the different styles and types because it was kind of confusing I was getting kind of overwhelmed while I was on the site um, just trying to understand the differences in the different styles and the the, um, the standard sizes and so forth because they have like I think from like three or four millimeter all the way up to like 10 or 12 so um, I just mostly ended up getting the six millimeter, which I found is like kind of looks like the standard size of sequins, but it's kind of good to for you to reference it. So in case you didn't know that that was the standard size, the other thing that I wanted to share is that they have two sizes available, and apparently, um, I must have ordered the wrong size, or they shipped me the wrong size. And I have a feeling they shipped me this by accident because I don't ever think I would order this color. Like I tend to like more pastels if you can't tell. Um, and so I don't really think I would order this color, so I don't know if I was supposed to get something else, but I don't think I ordered this large size, but in any event, it's a huge size. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, because again, this isn't really my color. Um, I might bag it up and share it, or maybe I'll do a giveaway, I'm not sure yet. So, um, stay tuned for that, but let me kind of just go over, just in case you were, um, wondering of about the different styles, um... I think it, I can't remember who the first person I saw. It's some I think it was Tara. Um, I think she's the first person I saw that had all of this on her YouTube. And then uh, Marissa picked some up, and I had already had some in my cart, so I was laughing when I saw her video because I was already gonna buy. I just had to figure out which ones I wanted to get. And since then, I also placed another order. Once I got this today, I'm like, oh my god, I love these, and so I I placed another order now that I kind of understand the coloring and. Um, styles better but um and then I think Gina just posted and somebody else I'm like oh my god everybody's like sequins crazy okay so let me just kind of go through the different types um let me start here so I, I got a few metallics and I have a lot of metallics already because um the store that is nearby my local scrapbook store they were able to get like a pack that had all different color um, of this the metallic style so I had put some in these types of containers I might move them back into um, zip blocks now that I have the zip blocks but um, so I have some of them already but so I just got a few colors the ones that I know that I'll use I got um, this is a mil six millimeter cupped metallic turquoise and um, they actually had flat sequins but I don't I kind of don't like the flat ones as much so I, I got mostly the cupped and um, the six millimeter size this is the peach color um, this is light purple and I got the light pink so that's the only metallics that I really got aside from that blue pack that I showed you. Um, the other one that I got that I wasn't sure if I would like it, so I only got a few colors, um, was this um, six millimeter cupped opaque color. And it has a 
kind of like when the light hits it, it kind of has an AB look to it. So it, it is a little iridescent. Um, but because it's opaque, like you can't see through it, it's not like iridescent shiny type. So um, I only got a few colors. I got the light lemon yellow and the light turquoise and the peach. I thought I ordered pink, but maybe the pink wasn't in stock because usually I would get a pink. But those are the only three colors that I got for that. And I think I'm thinking that I can make my own mixes and share with my friends and stuff. OK, so the next type I got is this five millimeter opaque flower and I got them in baby pink and light purple and it's hard to see but it does have an iridescent sheen to it when the light hits it um, and they have little holes in the middle of the flower so um, I got a bunch of those just those two and I have duplicates of the purple for some reason um, the other flower that I got is this, um, it's more, it's a larger size, it's 15 millimeter, and I got it in several different styles. And I wanted to just see the difference in these, which are all basically white or clear type looking. Um, but because I didn't quite understand what each thing meant, I picked it up in the flower. So this is a 15 millimeter flower, and the color is moonshine. Now moonshine is like a... It looks like a metallic, but it's actually like a clear. But I guess when the light hits it, it looks silvery. So see, it kind of looks like silver, but it's also like clear. So it's it's kind of cool. It's not totally silver, silver. Okay, so that's moonshine. And I got some other um, sequins in this, but I, th I got the flower in that. I also got it in a white satin color. So it looks more like pearl. And then I got it in the crystal iridescent, which is a clear AB, the Aurora Borealis color. So I thought even if I mix these three together, it will be kind of pretty. And then I also couldn't help myself and I got the color, the mixed colors. And it partly is because I wanted to see what the colors look like. So I got that. And that's all the flower stuff that I got. Okay, and then... Um, what I didn't quite understand was what was the difference between iridescent and iris. And when I look at it, I think they both kind of have like an AB look. But this one, I think, like when you um, buy, what is it called? Those um, bicone Swarovski crystals and they have like the times two AB. That's kind of what the iris reminds me of. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but that's that's kind of what the iris color reminds me of. Because like I said, this one also has the AB, but it's not as much as like this one, the iris ones. So anyway, I just wanted to see what the difference was. So I got, I don't know why I got this 8mm because that's the only one I got in the 8mm. And so I'm thinking this might have been one that was on clearance. The clearance section in that site was like super cheap. It was a really good deal. I think like their bags were averaging 25 cents a bag. So I think maybe that's the reason why I got an 8mm because I think the rest are either 6 or 10 I also got the 10 millimeter in Hawaiian Orchid. And again, this is the iris finish. I also got it in the Bahama Blue. So I have, I have a feeling these were all on the clearance. And then this one is a weird one too. It's a five millimeter in girly pink. And it I guess because of the times two AB, it kind of looks more like an orangey peachy color. So I don't know if I necessarily like that, like if I would buy that again, but um, it's good to just have it as reference. So. Okay, so that's the iris ones. And then um, for the most part, I got either the iridescent or the satin. Like those were my favorite ones out of all of the ones that I saw. So as you can see, I got quite a bit. So let me just kind of go through the colors in case you were wondering what they look like. So this first one, again, I think all of these are six millimeters. So this is the cupped iridescent pale pink, and it's a very, very, very light pink. It is very pale pink. So it's, it's almost clear looking, as you can see, but it does have a little tinge of pink. Because when you compare it to like white, it's not white and you see the little pink hue um like here this one is clearly besotted so this one looks more white and this one looks more pink so then you can kind of see the difference right okay so that's the lightest um of the iridescent one that i got then i got flesh pink which is a little bit more peachy color 
see so when you compare it this one is more of a regular pink and this is more of a peachy pink and then I got cup oh, what is it called light rose and then I got medium pink see so here's all the different pinks they are different though so it, it's good if especially since I work with a lot of pinks that I can actually kind of mix and match and see which which pink will work best with my project and then I got a peach and I'm not necessarily a orangey kind of person but something about the peach was calling my name so I got a few other um, other styles in the peach color that I'm thinking I can mix together and make my own mix um, I got this buttercream because I wanted to see what color it really was. It's it's kind of like a clear cream with an AB finish. And then I got a lemon yellow because I don't I don't use a lot of yellow, but I sometimes you want it, so I just got it so that I could have yellow. I got this light leaf green, and I think I wanted the chartreuse, but I think the chartreuse was out, and this kind of looked like a mint green to me, so I got this color. And then I got, of course I have to get a teal, so this is a light jasper. And then um, I got a, I think this is Hawaiian Orchid, I'm not sure, I think this is the one that it didn't have a name on the label, on the bag. So I'm guessing because it kind of looks like my other one that is labeled Hawaiian Orchid. Wait, let me find it. Where's my other Hawaiian Orchid? Oh. Oh no, it doesn't. I lied. I don't know what color this is. Oh well, sorry. It, I, I can't tell you because it didn't have the color on it. Sorry. <sighs> that wasn't very good. Okay, so the next group is the satin, and I think this is my favorite type. Um, I, I really like all the colors that I got, and I'm, I think I might have ordered a little bit more, but um, this is just to kind of show you the difference. So one of them, the first one is white, and then I got pearl. And if you want to know the difference, the pearl is like an ivory color. Um, it's, and they're both, they all have that pearly finish, right? That's the satin finish. Then I got the light pink, because I'll use light pink. I got a regular pink to see what the difference was between the light and the, the regular. And that, again, you can mix. Then I got the peach. Remember I told you I like the peach, so I'm thinking I can mix these two together. And then I got um, pale yellow, willow green, which will go with this leaf green. And then I got um, light ocean blue green, which looks like a, a turquoise. And then a powder blue. And then a light purple. And then this one I actually got this light ecru color, which is like a kind of like a brown, like a light brown goldish type. So. I actually got two bags of that, so I can either give it away, like rack it, or do a giveaway or something like that. And then the last um, ones that I didn't share yet is, well, I kind of talked about it already, but is this the clear set. So again, I wanted to see what the difference was between all of the different whites and clears that they had to offer, um, just so that I know when I want to order again what it actually looks like. So, and then I got some different sizes just to mix it up a bit. So let me just kind of share with, with you what, what I got. So this is the 10 millimeter cupped moonshine. Um, so I already mentioned to you, moonshine is uh, like a clear, but it also looks like silver. Um, really like that. That's, it's silver. So you can use it with any, you can mix it with any of these other ones as well. Okay, the other 10 millimeter one I got is a cup, cupped clear glossy. Um, so it's just really clear. So if you look at the moonshine, again, it looks like silver, and then this one is more clear. Um, and then I got the 6mm cup moonshine, so it's same, it's just 6mm instead of 10. And then I got this 6mm cupped clear transparent, which is similar to the clear glossy. They're both just clear. And the last one I got is this uh, silky, I don't know what silky is, I guess it's more glossy looking, and it's called Clearly Beloved, and it looks kind of like an ivory, it's not a B, it's just glossy looking, um, but it's like translucent, kind of, it's not totally clear, but it's not like opaque either, 
So if you, in case you were wondering what that means, that's kind of my assessment of it. So, um, like I said, that was quite a lot that I bought. And I guess that wasn't enough for me because I had to go buy some more. So, um, I have been looking for sequins for a while now. Um, and I wanted to get it at a good price so I thought I could get all the colors that I wanted. So I was very happy to see it on that site. Now, um... I, again, I just ordered again, so I'll, once I get that order, I'll share it with you so you can see the other colors that I got. Um, but what, again, what I had to do was um, label it using my label maker and put them in these clears of buck bags so that it's easier to store and find and, and um, reference for future use. So, um... I think that's all I wanted to share with you about the sequins. Um, and I know Marissa is probably laughing at me right now. And Linda's probably rolling her eyes at me right now. But I don't care. Because I love it. I love sequins. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So, um, I guess if you haven't already checked them out, you really should go. Because they have really good deals. Fast shipping. So the shipping is pretty reasonable. And, like, I ordered it just like either Sunday or Monday and I got it today and I live in Hawaii so I'm sure those of you that live in the mainland will probably receive it a lot faster than I received mine um they have other items too besides sequins they have like beads and they have other shapes too I just am not into some of the other shapes so that's why um I only got these but you'd be surprised like how much sequins you use in a shaker especially in these deep shaker car um shaker the impression obsession ones that I picked up so um and then I really 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 want to start making my own mixes so I want to try find other shapes too so if you know other um sites that have like heart I'm looking for hearts kind of like confetti looking and stars um and like different sizes so if you see any of any other companies that have good prices on sequins then let me know because I will definitely check it out okay I will see you guys in the next video bye